Hello everyone and welcome back to another tourist bus simulator video. Today we're going to be making our way down the island from Ahoy, or Ahoy down to La Palette. So we're going right down the sort of west coast of the island. Um, and yeah, we're going down to La Palette. It'll be a nice journey. We're in the MAN uh, Intercity R60 I think this one is. Uh, and yeah, we're starting at the beach on this rainy but rather, well... It's not really that cloudy, is it really? Mm. Uh, I don't know, but yeah, we're starting at the beach. No, I didn't mean to press that. I haven't played in a little while. There we go. That's the one I was trying to click. Hello, everyone. Let's get the. Is there baggage space on here? There is. Let's get them open. Anything else back here? I've only driven this bu a bus, I think, once or so. Let's get him. I thought I'd go on this one, as this one sort of looks the closest to like just a normal sort of bus. Uh, let's get in, uh, get the destination and stuff on. Uh, we want that on, get that to drive. A bit naughty doing it now, but that's all good. I'll get the window down a bit as well. AC, and we're not having that 25 degrees. No, I would do 20 degrees. Uh, lower the bus down, destination on, all of that sort of stuff. Passenger lights on, and we should start getting on. Hello. I'm expecting them to buy it. I've been playing a lot of the bus recently, so I was just expecting people to get on and want, to, want a ticket straight away. Is this game and the bus near enough look the same in terms of graphically and the way near the HUD is? Right, close the luggage doors. We can do that. There we go. You've got like a double door here. Uh, get in. And then shut the other door. Lift the bus up. And. If I can remember the controls, off we go. You seem really sort of close to the front of the wheel on this, don't you? And I'm using the control. I would use my wheel, but I don't. I've heard not the best things about using wheel on here. Uh, and plus, it's a hot day, so I thought I'd I'll use my controller. I'm have to funny about getting the wheel plugged in and stuff, so. Yeah, we're using controller, but controller on this game is really easy to use. I'll say it's probably one of the best driving games with controller. It's not too sensitive, it's, well, perfect. Thirty kilometers to that pallet. All the different camera angles. Look at that. Whilst we're sitting here, I can't know we're off. I was going to say we get a screenshot, but no, we're, we're off already. Come on. What's the horn on here? Uh, there it is. Sounds like a car horn a little bit. You know, waiting for me. Cheers. Out we go. On our way over to La Pellet. Along sort of the mountainous and hilly roads of the west coast of Fort Ventura. See, on the east coast, it's all, which I think in the last video we did on the east coast, it's all sort of, um, but it's still quite hilly, but it's faster along that side, you've got the motorway. Whereas on this side of the island, it's just all little roads and fairly mountainous as well. Yeah, it's been a few weeks since we played this, it's nice to be back on it. I know I haven't done a stream in a while on this, but we're doing a video, so. What would you do that? 18.22, now that is not happening, as the time is like five times the speed on here. So that would be, what, if that's, say, 12 minutes, that would give us about two, three minutes real time to get there. That ain't happening. And this bus isn't the fastest either. Cool. Ooh, we've got a little secret road going up there. It's very tempting to always explore these little secret roads. There's this one at, I think, Esquinzo, which actually takes you down a safer way down to the bottom of the hill. Otherwise you could sort of get that weird snaky mess trying to get up to the top, which in a coach is really not ideal. There's a secret road that takes you all the way down without any of that. 
or is way less. Playa Gassi. Cool. Around we go. Lovely. I might get that out. More. So it's quite well. It's quite slow on this part of the map, as opposed to the other side. Yeah, this is Fort Ventura, one of the Canary Islands. Around we go. There we go. How many Canary Islands are there? I'm trying to think of the names of them. Tenerife comes. Is Tenerife a Canary? I think Tenerife's a Canary Island, I think. Tenerife, I think. Um, Lanzarote, is that one? I'm probably getting these completely wrong. Uh, and then I think there's also one with a fairly similar name to Fort Ventura. I think. I don't know, someone will know in the comments. What are the names of each um, Canary Island? Things with the Canary Islands, it's a bit like Spain, it feels like everybody's been there. I mean, the Canary Islands are, well, a Spanish place, aren't they? But, um, yeah, it feels like everybody's been on holiday to Spain or the Canary Islands. Has anyone in that boat where they haven't been on holiday to Spain, for example? Has anyone joined me in that boat? <laughs> on that boat? That's why the roads on this side of the island aren't as ideal. I think that's actually La Parade down there. And you've also got the mine round here as well. Look at that view there. And then I think it's Cafe or Cafe, which is like straight ahead at the sort of end of the headland there where it pokes out. Yeah, in real life this journey would probably take you an hour. So on here it's only taken us what, probably ten minutes or so. So yeah, in real life this would take about fifty minutes to an hour. So imagine going all the way down the map. I mean on here it takes well if you're dangerously driving it takes about what twenty minutes? So five times that. Well, actually, just if you weren't driving dangerously, probably about half an hour on here. Possibly even more. I mean, stopping as well. We'll say half an hour if you're like fast from Coralejo down to, say, Mora Harbley. We'll say, yeah, half an hour going sensible, non stop. So, in real life, that will take you about two and a half, three hours. And obviously, probably most of the time, you're going to be stopping. So, probably three, three and a half hours. Maybe more. Actually, I believe this is a one to five scale. Oh my god, what are you doing? Uh, right, should we go and see what's going on? Oi, make angry faces. What are you doing? You pulled out as we were coming along. This says give way. Well, there should be a giveaway thing here. What on earth are you doing? I can see you in there. I don't know. We shall report them for dangerous driving. Let's get a screenshot as we're here. The incident. Let's get back in. I didn't put the parking brake on. That's quite dangerous, actually. The bus could have rolled away. So we drew that 22 past, it's now 34 past. It just, it just wasn't happening. And round we go. And I 
have a little stop there. I think that's probably one of those sightseeing stops, isn't it? I didn't see that on the map when creating this route. I can see the the city lights of La Pared. Here it is. So I'm guessing, well, it's a one to five scale this. This would be five times bigger in real life, so still not the sort of biggest of places. So it's a large village slash small town. Appellate. Cool. And here we are, come to a stop. Yeah, we do, then we'll pull it out. And here we are, this is a lap head. Right. Put that down, route completed, put that to that, get that to that. And everyone off you get, come on. Oh sorry, did I not open Oh there we go. <laughs> get your luggage as well. Oh, you can't open that one when that's not when that's open. Well there we go, we made it, and then this will then be going back to well back to thingamajiggy, back to Ahoy. I think they only said it to you one way, so I don't know where we are going back. But yeah, that is some more tourist bus. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed that. Links can be found in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in, and I hope to see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.